What's up everybody? Ray here with Fish Head Videos. We have a fun video for you today. We're going to be camping out and we're going to be cooking and we're going to tell you guys all about the recipes that we're using and the seasoning that we're going to use on the chicken that we're going to cook over the fire. Dylan and Lucas are playing around in the woods right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is put out a trail cam and I'm going to put some deer corn down. In our next video, what we'll do is we'll pull the card out of the trail cam and I'll show you guys everything that we catch on it. It's going to be lots of pictures, probably deer, birds, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and set this up now and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So what we're going to be putting out for the critters is some deer corn and we've also got some bird seed. Just kind of a mixture of all different kinds of bird seed. And we're gonna spread it around here and then we will set up the trail cam in a tree right next to it. And then we'll let it sit for about a week or so and see what happens. Stay tuned for that next video. First thing is the bird seed. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it all over the place right over here. Just spread it around. Lots of bird seed everywhere. Now I'm going to do the deer corn, but I'm going to put it in a few piles, and I think that should get some really good pictures on this trail cam. Fifty pounds of deer corn should bring something in here, wouldn't you think? That's a lot of deer corn. Kind of made a row of the corn. It goes down this way right along the edge of the woods here. It looks pretty good. I think somebody's going to be hungry and want to come eat this. Are you hungry? You're already eating? <laughs> Woo! I don't know about you guys, but if I were a deer or some other critter, I would want to eat that. The trail cam is set up, the corn and the bird seed is out, so we're just going to let nature do its thing and come back. I'm thinking deer, birds, maybe uh, bobcat, squirrels, raccoons, that kind of stuff. What we'll do is we'll pull this for the next video and then we'll show everybody what we caught on camera. It should be pretty interesting. I think it'll be awesome actually. Don't forget to watch our next video, what we caught on camera with the trail cam. We'll see you in that one. What's up guys? It's your first fence lizard of 2023. When you catch a fence lizard, you might think, is it a male or a female? You really just have to look under their belly because the males have a blue belly and the females will have a yellow or red. Doesn't want to go. See ya, buddy. There he goes. Hey, little guy. Fence lizards are so cool, guys. All right, we're on a mission right now to find two fork sticks that we can put on either side of the fire, and then another stick that has a certain type of fork to it so we can rotisserie the chicken. Dylan's getting the first of our two posts that we need on either side of the fire for the rotisserie. So my dad found the next fork. Super high. Two down, one more to go. For the rotisserie part that goes across the fire, I think what I'm going to do is try to use this sort of W-shaped stick. I'm going to sharpen the points of these. I'm going to put the chicken on here and then poke it with these two points so that when we're turning the rotisserie, the chicken will turn with the stick. 
Just an idea that I had. We're going to try it out and see what happens. I think it'll work. Getting our rotisserie set up. We want this to be pretty solid. The two end pieces. Open these ends of this one now so that we can stick these chicken on easily for the rotisserie. So the plan or the idea is these two points will poke into the chicken and hold it from being able to turn this way while the rotisserie is rotating like this. We want to make sure the chicken can go all the way around and not just stop turning and that way it would get burned on one side. So to make the recipe good, we need a special rotisserie and I think this is going to work out very well. Comment below if you have a better idea just out of sticks in the woods. For the recipe tonight, all of our food is going to be cooked over the fire. Except for some vegetables I think we might do on the pan over the little camp stove. And that's what we'll be cooking with tonight. I love this little camp stove. We've used this thing so many times. It's very fuel efficient too, which is surprising. But all you do is just fold out the legs, screw it on to the container, and then it's good to go. And it's just as good as a gas burner on any stove. Just checking out our creek over here. I don't see anybody moving around. It's very, very still tonight. There's no wind at all. It's just starting to get cold enough for this jacket to actually make sense. But it is beautiful out here. It's probably 50 degrees, 55 degrees maybe. It's supposed to get down a little bit colder than that tonight, but we'll be fine with our nice sleeping bags. Should I jump in the water? Should I jump in the water? I don't know if I should. That probably would be a bad idea. <laughs> Not really sure what kind of mushroom this is, but there's a bunch of them out here. Comment below if you know what type of mushroom this is. Do we want to stay far away from this or is it delicious? We have no idea. We're not going to eat it right now because we don't know. But go ahead and comment below and let us know if you know what this is. So I have never seen all black mushrooms like this ever in my life. Obviously we're not doing any mushroom cooking tonight, but what mushroom is all black? It's an interesting looking mushroom too. We found fuzzy mushrooms. Okay, so we're gonna put up our hammocks here. These hammocks are really pretty simple and efficient. You're trying to save time while you're out here camping. These hammocks make life a lot easier. Twenty degree bags, priceless. And that's how it's done. The moon just came up and it looks like it is a full moon tonight. Having fun watching me. You want to take some of this because I see some greens. I can hear the coyotes coming off in the distance. They're on their way. All right, so for the chicken, we're going to season it with our new Fish Head Videos chicken seasoning. We've been working on this for a little while. It's close to being perfected. We're going to coat the chicken and then we're going to fire roast it for probably about an hour or so. Oh, oh. Chicken seasoning that we've been working on. We're going to go ahead and just pour this on the chicken and rub it in a little bit. Good healthy dose of it. That'll make it nice. Very, very tasty. Do some on both sides. And then we can rotisserie this over the fire. 
Might as well use all of it. Why not? It is very, very good. Just like our steak seasoning. You may have heard about the steak seasoning in our last video. All right, this looks good. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the fire and rotisserie it. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Rotisserie is working good. Alright, so it looks like the chicken is about done. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the vegetables on. We've got a mixture of different vegetables. As you might be able to tell, the temperature has dropped drastically. Fire up the little camp stove and we're going to cook these vegetables. We're just going to season these vegetables with salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, Brussels sprouts, broccolini, green beans, and carrots. Pepper, salt, garlic powder. You can pretty much make anything with these three seasonings right here. We're also going to use it in the morning when we make our omelets. Brussels sprouts, broccolini, green beans, carrots. If you've never tried broccolini before, do it. Fire roasted chicken, perfection. Look at that. It's gonna be so juicy and crispy and flavorful. Can't make that chicken in your kitchen. I am about to have a feast because I cooked for three people and now it's just one of me. Wait till you guys see this. Can you eat a whole chicken and a whole plate of vegetables? I think I can. Can you believe how amazing this chicken looks? That is a fire roasted chicken. The vegetables. Can't wait to try this. Just the right amount of seasoning. It's almost like broccoli but it doesn't have that same sharp broccoli flavor. I have not found a bad way to cook this vegetable. I'm pretty sure I just decided that broccolini is my favorite vegetable. Kind of like green beans. Can't go wrong with that. Or Brussels sprouts. I used to hate Brussels sprouts, but now they're so good. And look, cooked to perfection. Outstanding. We all know carrots are good. All right, so now it's time for the main course. I'm just gonna try a piece. I wanna get some skin and some meat in the same bite here, so I can get the full effect. I'm trying to use these plastic silverware. I should've just pulled the pocket knife out of my pocket. It's juicy, it's crispy, and I'm sure it's gonna be flavorful because we put the fish head seasoning on here. That is fantastic. If you've never tried to make chicken over a fire, it, it's a game changer. The chicken is so much better than it would be if you cooked it in your oven. If you have any ideas for another recipe to do over the campfire, go ahead and comment below. I'll try anything because sometimes it comes out this good. Worth the try. So good. Cooked over a campfire. It's getting very cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. I'm gonna lay in my hammock in the 20 degree sleeping bag. Should be nice and cozy tonight. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. We made it. It was super comfortable. Gotta love these hammocks with the 20 degree sleeping bag in it. So now that we're up and we got the fire going again, let's make some breakfast. We're gonna make a little bit of an omelet here. We got the old spam, we got mushrooms, and we have eggs. <laughs> Thank you. 
Step one, melt some butter in the bottom of the pan. Step two, add your spam. Not so finely diced. I kind of just roughly chopped it. We let the spam cook for just a few minutes, get it a little bit of a brown before we put the mushrooms in. Might not be the healthiest thing in the world, but if you've never cooked spam in butter, you're missing out. Go ahead and add in the mushrooms now. Keeping it simple today, we're just gonna do a little bit of black pepper, some salt. Don't need a lot of salt because the Spam has a lot of salt in it already. And just a little bit of garlic powder. Give that a quick stir. Let those flavors mix. Time for some eggs. Get those eggs all mixed in there. Looks perfect. Let's eat. All right, it is done and looking amazing. Lucas is gonna go ahead and try the first bite. Good. Thumbs up, good. Lucas loves it. Oh, there goes some on the ground. Good. Look at that. That is incredible. Sometimes you really don't have to get fancy with the seasonings, and it works out perfectly. I'm going to try this. Masterpiece. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. Eggs, spam, and mushrooms. 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 Rooms. This is really good. So we decided we had not had enough spam because. Well, I'd say that was a pretty fun little camping adventure. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed it, please like the video. Don't forget about the next video we're going to do where we're going to have the pictures from the trail cams to show everybody. So if you don't want to miss it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notifications bell and that way you'll know exactly when we post that video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.